be leaving. So good morning, everyone. Welcome in. We're so glad that you could join us here. CEO Chris Licht thanked Lemon in a message to the company, adding Don will forever be a part of the CNN family. Lemon tweeting a different take on his sudden departure. I am stunned. I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. CNN denies the claim that management didn't offer him an opportunity for a meeting. Lemon's departure comes just two months after controversial comments he made on air about women, specifically presidential candidate and former U.N. ambassador Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you talking about? That's not according to me. Prime for what? It's talking about the best prime for being say president. What the facts are. Google it. Lemon later said he regretted the comments and called them inartful and irrelevant. Licht kept him on the anchor desk, telling staff he would participate in unspecified formal training, according to CNN Business. But tonight, the controversial anchor is out of a job. NBC News' parent company, NBC Universal, is also dealing with a sudden departure. CEO Jeff Schell is leaving after an investigation revealed inappropriate conduct, according to Comcast, which owns NBC Universal. Schell writing, I had an inappropriate relationship with a woman in the company, which I deeply regret. I'm truly sorry I let colleagues down. A lawyer for CNBC anchor Hadley Gamble says the investigation into Mr. Shell arose from a complaint by my client of sexual harassment and sex discrimination. Shell and Comcast have not commented on those allegations. Tonight, the media landscape is shaken, with three very familiar faces no longer in the picture. And Stephanie with Tucker. So does this have anything to do with women? I mean, it seemed like all three... Uh, all three news anchors anchors were uh let go because of some type of issue they had with women. So wow, that, that's that's kind of strange. Um, uh, so let's 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 get some uh let's go to the scriptures. Okay, we're gonna go here to Isaiah chapter twenty six and uh we'll start at twenty six and four, and it says, "Trust in the Lord." Forever, for in the Lord Yahweh is everlasting strength, for he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he led low, he led low even to the ground, he bringeth it even to the dust. Okay, so dust, rep uh, dust uh, represents means confusion, right? So even the most high, he, he's the uh. He has the authority and the power over all things, you see, so he can make a person rich or he can bring a person down to, to their poor state. OK, it said he's bringing even to the dust. He said the foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. The most upright do his way. The path of the just. Yea, in the way of the judgment, O Lord, have we waited for thee, the desire of our soul in thy in thy name, and the remembrance of thee. So the Most High is bringing these people down. You know, all these people who's going, uh, who don't have His Spirit in them to bring out the truth, or uh, to to to. Uh, all those these people who's who's loving this world, the most high he's going to bring down. You see? Because they're not seeking his wisdom, his knowledge, but they're living accordingly to the world and how the world wants them to live. So the most high put these people in these places. And he set these people up on high and he says and he can bring them down on low. You know, so I want to share that with you guys this morning. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, three news anchors are are are, are gone. Uh, from their from their workplaces, and it's the most high doing. You see, you know anybody who's taking part in this world and having these worldly lusts and falling after these and falling after wickedness. In this world, and is a part of oppressing God's people and keeping them down, then the most high, he's going to deal with you, you know.
So I want to share that with you guys. Remember to like, share, subscribe. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.